damn, you know, this view is pretty good. Uh, welcome back to Sekiro, everyone. Where after the excitement of the great Shinobi Owl fight, let's turn to less exciting things, i.e. conversations. With Emma. Tomo's note, not written in... I don't think I've ever had this, which means I'm on the right path. Lord Tucker's cops are worsening still, returning to the... the blah, 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 blah. Uh, restoration requires the Ever Blossom and Moron Blade, and yet I cannot acquire the latter. It was hidden by the... Yeah, cool. We're on the right path, boys. We are on the right path. That was the boy, I mean the owl. Isn't it what, what we just got? Isn't that what we just got? Told you. So we gotta go there. Cool. Oh, there's more conversation. Yeah, I get that gourd seed. <laughs> we can also get her. Okay. I've given her booze before, haven't I? Fuck it. Let's drink. Maybe that'll help you remember or forget. Damn, she's going to town on that. The big reveal. The big reveal. Of course, this is the thing that they've met before. Uh, he just doesn't remember. So that's the thing. It's a weird like amount of exclamation points there or punctuation. Cool. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to reset, I mean rest. We should make Emma move. Um Yes, it does. And the graves we are looking for are in this like little side hole area right here, I think. Whoops. Listen, it's not exactly how I wanted it to go. Uh, double not how I wanted it to go. Damn. Motherfuck. How am I always fucking up on this area? I get Mikirid, bitch. Eat shit.
Lisa, if I remember correctly, there it is. Yeah, and there she is. Cool, 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 cool. See, I'm not such an idiot. I do remember a couple of things about this game. Man, there's a lot of conversation in this episode. She moves fast, you know? Like, how the hell did she get here this quickly? It's too much sake we gave her. What? Oh, okay. Cool. You can guess what we gotta do. Reset. Yeah, classic souls. It's just resetting. Resetting solves everything. It's the best, isn't it? So we're gonna go to the dilapidated temple, which actually brings me to another point. There is one more thing we need to take care of here, which is the dude we've been killing since the start. Really? That's weird that that's in here. Isn't that for items that were like lost? So yeah, th we can kill this guy now. Might seem like a dick thing to do, but just imagine being him. He's seen some shit, for sure. So we're going to Sudoku him. Oh, we got a reset. <laughs> okay. What else? What else? Right. What up? Everybody's here. It's all one big party. It's sitting right there. This is such like a pain in the ass to do this. I like don't remember this being such a pain in the ass to do. Cause yeah, I think what you can do here is go through this little, this is Kuro's room. Go through this like hidden cave, which Listen, if the fucking Iron Fortress doesn't make sense from like a geographical standpoint, this shit sure as shit doesn't either. I think we can like eavesdrop here. Yes, we can. Okay, sorry, I'm just bouncing around. Good thing I remembered this, because I would have, like, fucked this quest line up. Cool. Yeah, there is no happy... This is a Souls game. There is no happy ending here, boys. 
uh, if you think about it. What? You expected something? There is actually a happy ending, but it's very convoluted, if I remember correctly. That's like the most convoluted ending, so yeah, you know, sure as shit ain't going for that. He is in the seppuku pose. More on blade that centipede. And this is the cool hidden tooth. This is almost like, or is that the item which allows you to false false die? This might be the one. Then I might misremembered uh, the thing. Okay, so after running around and a little bit of Wikipedia ing, um, you need to go and talk to them after the eavesdrop. Damn. This is convoluted as fuck. See, now we know. Now we know they're up to their tricks. We had that wire going. I've been re-watching the wire, so it's on my mind. Uh oh. She really is the waifu of this game. Belchamp previously owned by the owl. The owl held this bell for a long time. Offering it at the dilapidated temple may result in seeing a different memory than before. Cool. This is all new to me as well. I've never gone for this ending. Cool. You know what we gotta do. Can't believe it. Actually, new, actual new content. Holy shit. This is so cool. <laughs> Whoa, okay. I wasn't expecting... Hold on. Hold on. Okay, I'm getting my ass kicked. Because... Bruh, can I just... Thank you. That was unexpected. Just give me the gouging tops, thank you. Sorry, doggos. Fuck. What what a fight, right? Don't I have the fucking midair prosthetics? God damn it. Okay, that's annoying. Let's try that again. Now I know. 
I completely forgot I didn't have gouging tops equipped. Man, I'm having a tough time with this guy. He doesn't seem like that difficult. He's the exact same as all those other standard enemies. But I don't know, man. That hitbox, though. on come on just break there we go it's one Cool. I got this now. I'm in the zone. Maybe not. Ignore my shitty parrying. Kinda knew that was gonna happen. Oh, fuck off. Hopefully the doggos can't like reach out here. Of course they can. <sighs> Come on. Is he glitched? Please tell me he's like... He's glitched. <laughs> cool. Well, that was not the most um, elegant fight. Man, that guy was difficult. Uh, normally these guys are not that much of a problem. Damn. Well, anyways. I'm guessing we gotta like... Progress through here normally. Uh, oh, come on. Okay, I was gonna say. I was gonna be upset. There is no reason to be. So it looks like this is standard Hirata from here on out. Except we're a little bit stronger. Do we gotta fight Juzu again? Or whatever his name is. Yeah, I know your tricks now, boy. I should have the fucking axe here. That's a, one of the issues with the axe, honestly. It's like completely useless after uh, like this portion of the game. It's probably the most situational of these shinobi prosthetics. I mean, a lot of them are very situational. But I feel like that one even more so. Anyways. This place should be easy enough. Hopefully we still have... Oh, hello. Like, yeah, hopefully we still have the idol. And of course we do. 
They put these enemies here. Yeah, okay, so they do change it up, which is cool. It's not the same old. Just to make it a little bit more interesting. What up? Best baseball player out here. I think these guys are more like our level, you know. Ah, uh, maybe not. They're still pretty easy. Oh, you can like take a short... So the layout of the place is different too. Oh, that's cool. That is actually really cool. Uh, Cause I was like... Suspicious, I was like, damn, this is not where we were meant to go. That's cause... Well, that's actually really nice. I thought this led straight to the boss fight. Uh, cause surprise, surprise, there is a... Okay, you guys are the fucking blindest, seriously. <laughs> Must be the mask, because these dudes can't see shit. Eat shit. Oh, fuck. Two of these fools. I should have... I know where I screwed up. should have fucking puppeteered that guy. The first one I killed. What if we just say fuck it? Yeah. Sometimes that's the best solution, you know. Yeah, much easier than going through all those purple ass ninjas. There probably is no Jozu here. There is. So you can fight two Jozus. And purple ninjas. Along with him. Well, that's a little bit of an issue. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, thanks game. What the hell is this guy? Oh, he has a Sabimaru. What the hell? Ah, oh, come on. Well, that was unexpected. What the shit? There is archers. Okay, well, this is fair and balanced, to say the least. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so what we need to do here, I think... Oh, shit. Oh, snap. He's getting his drink on. I respect that. So here's the deal. I'm gonna need to like figure some way out of killing the purple ninja. I think we might fucking planes, helicopters or whatever. Man. Always some interruption. It didn't work. Because he's facing... That's... I couldn't tell which way he was facing. That's the issue. Uh, but he's facing this way. 
the ninja at least, the purple one. That's the issue, okay. Oh, motherfucker. So I like, gotta kill this guy somehow. What a dickish combination, holy shit. <sighs> Jesus, okay, this is... This is fun. Yeah, separate them. Come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> This is ridiculous, seriously. <sighs> I mean, I do wonder what would happen if we approach from here. Well, let me just pop one more Gaijin Sugar. Because this almost seems like... No, he's fucking fast. Yeah, this is not gonna work, okay. I mean, I don't know, boys. Uh, th this section really feels like a real kick in the balls, to say the least. Uh, you have fucking Jozu, uh, who is already not easy. I mean, like his enemy type, paired with one of these asshole purple ninjas, plus two poison archers. <sighs> fun, 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 fun. But we gotta tackle this somehow. I'll figure, I'll figure it out. Uh, but for now, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode here because it's yeah, we're we're on time. We're on time. I have quite a bit to cut out here. So I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Sekiro, even if most of it was just conversation with NPCs. Uh, if you did, as always, make sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll catch all of you next time. Goodbye.